You are not going to believe this. 20 solos in a row, Operation Dead End, Skull Army, and I'm gonna show you every single one of them here. Massive shout out to Let's Go Brandon. These guys are on fire, and that's right. 20 solos in a row, Operation Dead End. Let's do this. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Skull Army and friends. Skull Crusher here. It is Monday, December the 6th, 2021. And yes, we're coming right back at you with another Boom Beach video. 20 solos in a row on Operation Dead End here. The proof is in the pudding here. I am super excited to showcase these 20 solos in a row on Operation Dead End. And massive shout out to the task force. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> Make it this a possible here as you can see massive shout out to proximate cause here aka corn pop donkalicious your boy uh, skull crusher savage mc the ultimate og when it comes to operations in boom beach sixer my fellow canadian warrior player always bring in the hammer down and mr 100 acre woods himself ehor aka tigger this man knows how to hit are you ready we're gonna start things off here with the first operation which is going back to three days and 19 hours massive shout out to Pro Proximate cause here. We got full Zuka level 24 and Sergeant Brick here. Let's start this madness here. Operation Dead End Phobos, the first of 20 solos here. As you can see, we do have artillery coming out, clearing the boom mines, opening up our path here for the Zukas. We should have another barrage actually coming up top here, clearing out the mines directly underneath the building health masterpiece. As we do go back down to the beach, you can see that we do have a two smoke high flag drop, follow up with a third and then a fourth smoke. Some of our Zukas on the far right flank there did get tagged by the shock blaster no worries great recoup a follow-up smoke sorry follow-up flare to the transition point under the coverage of smoke as you can see excellent job earlier with the mine clearing of the barrage and the artillery following up to the kill zone at 12 o'clock of the power core brick gets their first zookas are not too far behind us we follow up brief flare to the power core we follow up shock pinning down the shock launchers mortars and rocket launchers boom goes the dynamite with a fourth shock actually pinning down the floddy at the last second second there absolutely incredible great job on that one proximate cause we're going to move forward to tinker here taking it to the what which one is this caught a fold uh, 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 262 we've got full zooka level 24 and a sergeant brick as well here let's check this madness out now Tigger starts things off with a couple artillery clearing out the mines in the path for our Zookas. We've got a mid flag drop on the far right side of the beach as we farm one power cell. We follow up with a smoke drop on Brick and the Zookas. We follow up flare to the transitional point. Some of the Zookas do peek on the right side of the bottom smoke there. Some of the flamethrowers do roast them to a horrible, horrible death as Brick and the Zookas make their way to the transitional flare point. We do follow up to the second transitional flare point. We follow up with a two smoke drop as we get ready to reflare at 1130 of the power core between the boom cannons. Follow up flare to the power core as we drop a critter box and then follow up with multiple shocks pinning down the rocket launchers above and below follow up critter box after the shocks have been landed boom goes the dynamite look at that med kit drop on the power core as we do move forward here massive shout out to savage mc you're gonna see a lot of insane attacks coming in from savage here but we do start things off on tarsier 194 points excellent two smoke drop with the follow-up third smoke there leaving a little bit of a gap there to get full zooka coverage that was insane right there absolute hot landing that's nothing for a savage a direct flare from the beach to our kill zone at nine o'clock of the power core brick makes it there with the zookas we follow-up transitional flare to the power core with that crystal shield projector coming out multiple shocks and critters after the shock points battle orders activated boom goes the dynamite celebration med kit and artillery to a follow and then this is my uh one of four solos in today's video now i do like this one here because we did actually go in with the bombas to farm uh, we did go in with 98 level 23 zookas and a level 10 bullet as well so as we start this attack off here we did actually begin with our bombas farming on that far right side and while that farming is going on we're actually dropping multiple multiple artillery clearing the necessary mines to open up our path for the the zookas we're taking the magic path here on waterloo here the bomba is doing a phenomenal job clearing the surrounding defenses here adding additional and valuable gunboat energy to my bank here as we do get enough of that gunboat energy we follow up reflare to the far left side of the beach as we do drop a barrage as well clearing a few of the mines that are in our way to the mid flare point we follow up with our first mid flare point with full zooka 
and uh, Bullet making their way out. This is a very, very standard flare point here. You always flare to the opening uh, tile there to the right of the shock launcher there. You do follow up with your next smoke and then you do transitional flare to your kill zone. Bullet is taking the lead here. We do a two smoke draw with a bullet shock point at the top of the flamethrowers there with the kill zone at 12 o'clock of the power core. As the Zookas do make it to the position, Bullet creates the separation with the rocket launchers on the far left there. We cycle our shocks, putting down the machine guns directly in front and the five rocket launchers to the bottom left, bottom right of your screen there. This was rough, guys. We got this could have gone. This could have gone very wrong. But you know what? Bullet held out long enough in the beast mode pose. The Zookas and the Bombas getting it done. All three Bombas that farmed at the beginning of that attack actually made it to the kill zone as well. And then massive, massive shout out to six here with the six of four six account. We got level 11 bullet, uh, six level 12 scorchers and 15 level five Bombas. Let's do this here. As we start things off, bullet does come out to play. He is the first troop, the first hero to drop. As we follow up, we do drop our six boats of scorchers and then we do delay drop our 15 Bombas directly behind the uh, scorchers here as bullet does make his way forward here. He just honestly pulling in all the fire there from the cannons, boom cannons. We do cycle shocks, pinning down the rocket launchers as the DPS, the damage per second troop, the bombardier in the back, just absolutely raining hell on everything. More than enough gumboat energy to continue cycling the shocks, pinning down the rocket launchers. We reflare to a very, very low six o'clock of the power core as the bombas and the scorchers bullet turn their attention to some of the machine guns, clearing the surrounding defenses, setting up the free snipe. Now, as the bombas and bullet are in position, this is the definition of raining hell. You got bullet uninterrupted. You got the bombas in the backfield uninterrupted, just continuing this madness here. The shield is melted and boom goes the dynamite. First five solos, Operation Dead End. As we do move forward here, we're gonna go right back to a Savage here on Operation Dead End's Kalisto, the sixth of 20 solos in today's video. We do have 112 level 24 Azukas. We've got level 24 Brick, and check out that attacker bonus there. That's crazy, 168% of the troop damage, 66% of the troop health, and plus 304% of the gun boat energy. Let's check this madness out. I'm a big fan of Cal here. So we do have a hot landing on the right and left side, but we do drop our troops in the middle of the beach with a flare landing to the far left side there. And look at that. We got a long flare directly from the beach there with a delay drop of a brick here. Now, Savage honestly has nerves of steel when it comes to operations. There's been many operational hits that I've learned from watching Savage play here. And he is a freaking beast when it comes to leaderboard pushing and just the most insane operations here when it comes to dead end here. There is the crystal shield projector, multiple crystal coming out left and right, cycling the shocks, putting down the flamethrowers and the rocket launchers on the top left of the screen there. Beautiful. Savage, absolutely beautiful right there. Boom! Goes the dynamite. We got Proximate Cause going in on sliding block here with level 11 bullet. We've got 16 level 12 Scorchers. We're going full Scorcher, baby. We are going full a Scorcher, and look at that. Looks like we might be taking it here. So we do drop one artillery there. We're in one of those shock mines, hopefully not to get any of our Scorchers caught up there. As we do continue the madness here, absolute farming season right now. Scorchers are going to a town here. Every power cell that does get destroyed. Remember, guys, that is three gunboat energy that is added to the bank here. And as the Scorchers do continue up top, they, they are literally, the rocket launchers are literally just tickling them here. Way too much damage, way too much armor for these RLs to handle, even on an operation such as Dead End Deer. Excellent job. Excuse me on that one, guys. Even on the reflare there, we do follow up with the secondary reflare as we transition directly to the core rush there. Honestly, no need to shock there. Activating bullets, taunt, and a beautiful sending it with the Scorchers there. Massive shout out to Proximate Cause, guys. We've got another treat from the beast himself, Savage MC, going in on Dead Ends Dioxin here. Once again, insane att attacker bonus with troop damage 168, troop health at 68%, and that gumboat energy at plus 298%. So as we do go in and check out this madness here, we do have a little bit of opening on the right side there to farm, but I don't think Savage is even going in for the farming here. He's going directly in for the mine clearing with the artillery to set up the solo here. And as you can see, we have a flare landing to the far left side of the beach there. We are going to highlight that rocket launcher so we can get a better understanding, so we can get a better feel of its range there. This is a hot landing. Look at that as the Zookas do make their way to the flare. Look at the beautiful curve in the smoke right there. As Savage does transition to the mid flare as he follows up directly to the kill zone flare. And this is just beautiful walking when you're your Zookas under smoke. This is just 
is beautiful. Making our way to the kill zone. Nine o'clock of the power core as we do reflare, cycling four shocks with a crystal shield projector. Battle orders activated. Boom goes the dynamite well done well done on that one savage then of course we do got the warrior beast himself going in with the azukas here on dead ends machina 194 point we got full zuka and bullet here 194 on the troop damage and 304 on the gun boat energy as we do zoom out here to get a better overall look of the layout here six is starting things off with multiple barrages clearing bring the mines in his path here for the victory we do have another artillery coming up top at about six o'clock of the power core we do have a flare landing to the far left side of the beach under the coverage of a three smoke drop excellent drop we got bullet following up there as we transition directly to our kill zone flare which does directly target the sniper at about seven o'clock of the power core we're going to follow up flare the machine gun at about uh, four o'clock of the power core then we then we reflare the actual power core itself with taunt activated and just like that guys cycling our shocks as needed and a devastating yet beautiful solo boom goes the dynamite well done on that one six and of course ya boy uh, skull crusher uh going in on dead ends or bolt here we do have the one boat of bombas as well i believe they did come out to farm but let's find out here check that out guys we do have the barrage coming out clearing the mines at our kill zone here taking absolutely no chance opening everything up here another barrage coming out up front here just literally clearing everything here we're gonna highlight the rocket launchers here as you can see it is a hot landing we do drop on the far right side with a flare landing to the middle of the beach there nice little delay drop with bullet with a beach flare to regroup the troops. And then we transitional flare directly to our bullet shock point. So you are going to see a three smoke drop there with bullet shock directly at about five o'clock of the power core. We reflare the Zookas to about three, keeping bullet at five, reflare the power core, cycling our taunt and our shocks with the critter as well. And boom! goes the dynamite i don't know what it is when it comes to bullet and bullet shock points on these solos but i just absolutely love it my friend so there is the first 10 solos in a row uh for the 20 solos in a row on operation dead end here and as we do move forward move forward to the next one here we got proximate cause on common door here we got full zuka and a brick let's do it baby so we do start things off with a barrage very standard there clearing the mines opening up our path to get brick and the zookas to the kill zone one more artillery coming out i don't even think that was needed right there but if he's got the gumboat energy for it better safe than sorry so it's a little bit of a nasty commodore here especially with the boom cannons on the beach normally you see full machine guns so not much room for farming if any at all here but a great job on the flare landing to the far right side of the beach there beautiful 45 degree angle on the transitional flare with a delay drop of brick we then directly follow up flare it looks like to our kill zone i'm gonna assume that's the kill zone right there. We could have an additional flare. Nope, that's it. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, we do flare up a little bit closer. There we go. There we go. That's a lot of gumbled energy. Holy crap, Proximate. We then reflare the core, cycling our shocks, pinning down the flamethrowers, laser, and machine guns with a critter box, distracting the rocket launcher, and single shot defenses directly behind Crystal Shield Projector coming out. Boom! Those the dynamite. Very, very well done on that one, Proximate Cause. We're going to move forward now to six going in on a Ransom. Let's do this. Let's Looks like we've got bullet and full azuka we're gonna have a ransom wrap coming up your way one artillery coming out clearing a shock mine which is definitely going to be in the path here of our troops here we've got a two smoke low flag drop on the far right side of the beach there we then follow up transitional flare beautiful 45 degree making our way to the next a flare point excellent crystal shield projector there as some of our zookas do run into the minefield there but beautiful save with the crystal shield projector we then directly follow up to about 12 o'clock of the power core directly take the machine gun any zookas that go left you're dead any zookas that go right you are the mvp directly reflare to the power core cycling one shock which is all we need to pin down the shock launcher bullet is there taunting the machine guns the rocket launcher directly behind being distracted by bullet zookas at the very bottom right of the power core bringing it home well done six a beautiful dead end ransom solo boom goes the dynamite we got tigger 100 acre woods going in next here on a 262 orbifold 
called Operation Dead End. Let's do this, my friends. Big shout out to Tigger. As we start off the attack here, we do have a barrage coming out directly in front of the power core, clearing the mines, opening up our path for the kill zone. Let's do this. One more artillery coming out, not taking any chances with that boom mine as well. We do start things off with a uh, mid right uh, high flag drop, no flare. Looks like we do have a little bit of farming for the Zookas to pick up with the power cells there. As we do actually farm three power cells, we follow up smoke to give our Zookas the coverage they need and a direct follow up flare to our point here. Some of our Zookas got absolutely sprayed by the machine guns on the mid right there, but keeping it together there, we do clip a mine there, but many Zookas still in the fight here as we follow up flare directly to our kill zone at about a low 4, 430 of the power core. Two smoke drop here as we do get into position. We re-flare the power core as the smokes get ready to expire. We cycle our shocks, putting down dual rocket launchers at the bottom left, three flamethrowers and a shock launcher directly below, multiple mortars at the right, four rocket launchers at the far right, and multiple rocket launchers and a laser directly above. And look at that med kit at the end to help with the celebration. A beautiful Orbifold solo. Compliments of Tigger just absolutely smashing it and sending it on that one right there. Boom! Goes the dynamite right back to your boy. And ends dioxin let's do this guys check this madness out looks like we do start things off with one boat of bombas which we are using to farm on that right side and you know what i just went crazy with my barrage here just trying to clear everything that's going to be in my path here now luckily this is not a hot landing so we've got plenty and i mean plenty of room for the landing here without the need for the coverage of smoke until we actually do get off the beach on the left side here now i think we actually farmed for almost literally two and a half minutes here there we go. Bombas have done their job. Now we regroup with a flare landing to the far left side of the beach. They're under the coverage of smoke there. I think we do clip some of these mines. Yes, we do. A little bit rough there, but then we, as we get to our mid flare point off the beach, we directly transitional flare to our kill zone. Looks like at 369 of the power core. Beautiful two smoke drop as Brick takes the lead, activates that last mine. Zuka's in position. Follow up flare. We drop the critter inside the flamethrowers, then cycle the shocks to pin down the flamethrowers. Multiple rocket launchers behind and we had the critters come out first as a safety net in case we were late on any of the shocks on the rocket launchers. And just like that, my friends, boom, goes the dynamite. Now, you guys are in for another spectacular treat here. Compliments of Mr. Savage MC here going in on Titanic. Now, check this out once again. Full Zooka. We got Brick as well. This My man is crazy with the attacker bonus. It's so insane seeing troop health now with a Savage. But considering we've got 12 statues, might as well throw TH in there. So, check this out guys savage does start things off with a barrage at about nine o'clock of the power core clearing the mines opening up our kill zone for the troops here we're going to drop a highlight of the rocket launcher here to check its range here we do have a flare landing to the far left side of the beach under the coverage of smoke due to the fact we have a hot landing because of that rocket launcher transitional flare directly to our mid flare point with a slight delay drop of a brick here beautiful job with the smoke here as brick and the zookas make their way to the transitional flare point follow-up flare directly to our kill zone at about 9 9 30 of the power core here we do follow up flare directly to the power core cycling our critters and then multiple shocks as needed crystal shield projector coming out to play and an absolute beautiful dead end titanic solo compliments of the one the only the savage mc that was a beautiful 15 of 15 solos there operation dead end as we do move in to close it out with the next of five solos here so massive massive shout out here proximate cause going in on target here here with full zooka and a brick max level to the limit here looks like we do start things off with a very far flare to the right side of the beach with zooka deployment on the very far left side of the beach but this is a nice little tactic here because as our zookas get to the mid flare point we directly transitional flare to our kill zone at nine o'clock of the power core there a nice little delay drop of a brick as we follow up with the one smoke drop at that nine o'clock kill zone flare directly follow up flare to the power core cycling our shocks as needed pitting down multiple shock launchers and rocket launchers critters coming out after as a safety net and just like that my friends proximate cause getting it done boom 
goes the dynamite absolute savagery at its finest here now we got owl i'm not too sure who owl is it's probably not gonna lie if it's not tigger then i'm gonna be very very shocked uh, but here we go once again another a uh, dioxin a uh, solo let's check out this uh, madness here boom goes the dynamite we got a beautiful barrage coming out clearing up the mines in our kill zone here very standard dioxin here uh, the walk is generally always always the same here now we do not have a, a hot beach so we do have a flare landing to the very far left side of the beach. Bazooka's being deployed in the middle there as we move in. Transitional flare directly to our mid flare point as we set up the kill zone flare at 9 o'clock of the power core. Zookas do split, but they do follow right back up single file as we pass the dreaded five mines, making our way to the 9 o'clock kill zone. Brick and the Zookas make their way under a one smoke drop, follow up free flare to the power core, cycling four shocks, looks like three shocks actually, pinning down the surrounding flamethrowers, mortars, uh, shock launchers, rocket launcher, and machine gun. Follow up two more shocks just because we can, and another shock on the Zookas with another shock on the Zookas. I like your style, Owl. I like uh, your uh, style here. As we continue the madness here, a beautiful, beautiful solo coming up from the one and only Mr. Savage MC here, and I love that he's got Captain Everspark on the high five solo here, so check this out, guys. Flare landing to the far left side of the beach there. We're gonna highlight that rocket launcher to check out its range. So we draw the smoke just as the Zookas make their way inside that rocket launcher range. We follow up flare directly to the far left of the shock launcher. Artillery comes out to tag the further of the shock launchers. As the smoke does expire, we cycle a shock. The Zookas uh, directly target the tagged shock launcher. While that's going on, we pick up some additional farming from the power cells down below as we utilize critters up top to clear the mines and get ready for our next uh, flare. Savage does do a little follow up flare to regroup his troops under the coverage of smoke as he drops an artillery to clear the mines and make his way forward to the next part of the attack here. A beautiful, beautiful control of the flares and the smoke here as Captain Everspark and the Zookas make their way to the next flare point. As the smokes do expire, we do cycle multiple shocks, pinning down the surrounding boom cannons and shock launchers here. Captain Everspark holding her own, still cycling critters. Looks like that sniper did get the best of Captain Everspark there. She does go down fighting a quick reflare of the Zookas, repositioning them at about 10 o'clock of the power core. They do start to spread, but they are in position and they are are absolutely melting that shield. This is just execution at its finest from an incredibly good player in this game. And you know we're talking Savage MC as the shield gets melted. The barrage and medkit come out for the celebration. Boom! Goes the dynamite. Savage, you are an absolute beast, my brother. Absolute beast here. We do continue with my fellow warrior Canadian player, six for six, going in on Quantum with the one boat of Bombas, Brick, and the Zookas. Look at this farming here. So we're going to speed this right up to times four. We got a barrage coming out directly at about five o'clock of the power core, clearing the mines, opening up our kill zone for the Zookas as the Bombas have literally a heyday at the bottom left of your screen there, picking off those power cells like it's going out of style, adding three, three gunboat energy to the bank every single power cell they bring down. They were expendable, they've done their job, they've reached the range of the rocket launcher, and the rocket launcher has finished them off. A beautiful high flag three smoke drop on the far right side of the beach there as we directly transitional flare to our kill zone at about 3, 3.30 of the power core, cycling multiple shocks with battle orders activated and boom! Goes the dynamite six that was disgusting, man. Woo! Love it. Absolutely love it. And as we do move forward, we do have the 20th solo coming up here. Compliment of your boy, uh, your friendly neighborhood skull crusher. Once again, going in on duality here with full Zuka and a brick here. Let's do this, guys. 20 solos in a row. Operation Dead End. Can you handle the madness here? We do have multiple artilleries coming out, clearing our minds in our path here with a flare landing to the middle of the beach with Zuka's being dropped on the far left side. Direct not transitional flare off the beach under the coverage of smoke with a slight delay drop of brick. Follow up flare directly to our kill zone at six of the power core. Two smoke drop at the kill zone flare. Follow up flare directly to the power core. Critters coming out directly behind on the cannons and boom cannons cycling multiple shocks, putting down rocket launchers, flamethrowers, and machine guns with battle orders activated and boom goes the dynamite skull army. And just like that, 
20 solos in a row operation dead end can you dig it skull army and friends do not forget to leave a like on today's video if you've made it this far in the video as well and you are new grab a stick of dynamite go run over to that subscribe button metaphorically speaking place that set stick of dynamite beside the subscribe button like that set stick of dynamite run the flock away and that's right blow up that sub button and join the skull army today absolute savage here with the 20 solos in a row on operation dead end compliments of the one the only let's go brandon we will officially be wrapping up today's video skull army i think it's time to make like a tom and a cruise have a wonderful day we'll catch you on the next one peace